there are very few places that I've been in the world that have kind of a unique um, uh, diversity uh, that Sonoma County has in terms of topography. You have the ocean, you have the mountains, you have hiking, mountain biking. What makes Sonoma County unique from a grape growing and wine producing standpoint is that diversity. Uh, that you have all of these different regions from Alexander Valley and Dry Creek Valley in the north to, as you move south, the Russian River Valley, Sonoma Coast, Sonoma Valley, um, and then Carneros. And so really each of those different regions, they have different things that they do best. So the goal really of winemaking here at Blackstone Sonoma is to try and capture fruit from different regions to really create a palette of wines that captures that diversity and then to, as a winemaker, to sit down with all of those wines and to be able to blend them into the best possible wine that you can. The facility here at Kenwood really is designed for small lot winemaking, uh, which means basically that we have uh, many small tanks uh, that allow us, as we source fruit from throughout Sonoma County and bring it in, uh, that we can harvest separate lots from vineyards, which really gives us kind of a, the um, ultimate con control and flexibility as a winemaker. We can put all of those wines out on the bench and we can select something that has a little blacker fruit profile and a little more weight and body or something that's a little brighter, red fruit and fresher to really create the best wine that we possibly can. In terms of identifying and, and finding the right growers, certainly site, site, site is really the most critical aspect in grape growing. And for that reason, we've identified certain regions for certain grape varietals that, where we will target fruit sourcing from that area. By contracting with growers for their fruit throughout Sonoma County, it really allows us to source fruit from a wide range of areas. Really critical from that standpoint to, to work with those growers to partner to produce the best wine. So Fred, here we are in your Russian River Valley Pinot Noir vineyard, the Nunez Vineyard. Uh, Russian River Valley really represents a, a critical component of our Sonoma County Pinot Noir uh, blend. Uh, tell me what makes Russian River Valley so special. It, you know, it starts out with location is the most important thing for a vineyard. And that's because each location is going to have its own separate weather, its own climate. And each vineyard's going to have a different soil type. The Russian River Valley brings together three elements that are very, very important. One is the location because of our proximity to the coast. We get a fog intrusion from the Russian River Valley where it exits out to the ocean. We also get another major intrusion from the Petaluma Gap. These coincide to moderate the temperatures in the Russian River Valley that allow us to grow Pinot Noir, which is the second element, is to be able to pair the varietal with the specific location. The third element in this is the cultural practice, which is how do we grow the grapes here? We're looking at the Scott Henry trellis where we have a two-tier system so that we get maximum sunlight penetration and this sunlight penetration is going to develop and we're going to be able to get maximum color, flavor, and aroma so that I can bring you those elements for you to make the final wine. Fantastic. Let's have a look at another block. Very good. Judy, here we are in the Miwok block Cabernet Sauvignon of your beautiful Vadaz vineyard. Uh, this vineyard historically has gone into the Blackstone Sonoma Reserve proprietary red blend. Uh, tell us a little bit about what makes this block so unique. Well, I think the fact that it's in this big bowl with this great western exposure and uh, it's got nice soil, but then it's a good rocky soil as well. Yeah. I think it's I think it's the, the land and the location, and we're up about 500 feet. Yeah, and all that sunlight really translates into like really rich, dark color, and the soil into really concentrated, uh, rich, mouth-filling wine, and that's exactly what we're looking for well, for our blend. That's what we're trying to achieve. Judy, how long have we been getting uh, your fruit at Blackstone Sonoma? A uh, good five years and we certainly have enjoyed being growers for Blackstone. And we're really looking forward to getting your Cabernet again this year, as well as the Pinot that we get from, and Syrah that we get from this vineyard as well. Uh, really, in terms of our winemaking philosophy at Blackstone Sonoma, we're looking to source fruit from the best areas throughout Sonoma County, like the Vidaz Vineyard here in, in Sonoma Valley, and uh, really our uh, teamwork and cooperation with the growers, such as yourself, is what translates into uh, the finished wine quality at the end of the day. So. We're really looking forward to 
to working with you this year. Well, thank you. We look forward to it too. We like what you do with the grapes and uh, appreciate your, your reserve program. Great. In terms of actual winemaking style, I definitely want to produce fruit forward, balanced wines uh, that are good with food. Wines that really showcase place, that showcase the fruit uh, that is unique to Sonoma County. I think those wines will represent a step up in terms of going after a slightly more uh, educated wine consumer at the end of the day. As a winemaker, I think one of the things I enjoy most is the entire creative process of, of winemaking. And I don't think there's anything that I enjoy more, though, than actually seeing the consumer taste the wine. Uh, yeah, I enjoy seeing it on the shelf, certainly, but uh, I enjoy seeing it move off the shelf into somebody's glass even more.